guys, it's your girl Genesis here. And Connor. And we are back with another video. Um, we just came back from our like last date before we're like quarantined away, technically speaking, because where we live. Um, so we're doing a quick little video talking about how we met. Um, so I guess I'll, um, I think I actually want to start off from your perspective because I have more to say than you do. So I'll let you like talk first and then I'll um, say my perspective. I think that we, like I had known her through my brother and then um, I wouldn't really, we really didn't talk that much and then I got a text one day and I didn't know it was her and I just started like we started going back and forth like talked all day and then I finally like, asked who she was and I realized it was her and I was like oh okay sweet so I had someone to talk to for a while. And then, yeah, then we started dating. A lot happened in between that. Not really. How did you like make your move on me? I called you beautiful. I mean, that was it. I called you beautiful because you are. Yeah. But I mean. Yeah, but like. We got along very well. Right. I thought she was beautiful. She had a good personality. So I went for it. I wanted to see what would happen. How you feel now? <laughs> I still love you, Gruber. <laughs> okay, well, from my very detailed perspective, um, his brother and I had been friends for a few years, and I had a crush on him, his younger brother. We don't really talk about that. It's kind of just like that away um him and i were friends for a few years and i'd like seen connor around but i'd never talked to him i thought he found me very annoying so i just we didn't talk and so the one day that i reached out um i thought i was talking to aiden they had like switched iclouds without like me knowing so i i i texted aiden thinking i was just talking to him um and then like the end of the day like he said he found out it was me and i was like oh it's connor like Oh, okay, that was actually a pretty chill conversation. Um, and so the weekend that we started talking, someone from my school actually, like, passed away. And so that was a really big, like, something, like, milestone that happened in my life. <laughs> um, and, you know, I was obviously in a lot of shock, and I was talking to him about it, and he was being really sweet and, like, comforting to me, and that, like, stood out to me, because I'm like, I just started talking to this guy, like, this weekend, and he's already, like, you know, being there for me, um, being a really good friend. And so that stood out to me a lot. Um, and then the next day I like had taken a bunch of selfies and I texted him and I was like, Hey, like, which one do you think I should post on Instagram? AKA 14 year old boy being like, Hey, yo. <laughs> I was just testing the waters. <laughs> yeah, I was just testing the waters. Um, and he said he was like, one through, like, blah, 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 but they're all beautiful. And I was like, wait, did he just, like, call me? I was, like, so shocked. And then I lost service for two hours because I was on a trail with my best friend. So I was freaking out because I'm like, oh, my God, he's going to think I'm ghosting him. He's going to think I'm not interested. Oh, my God, he's so cute. Wait, like, wait, did he just I was just, like, freaking out. Like, 14-year-old me just lost my marbles. Um, and so... Yeah, after that, within like a week of that, we said I love you, which we both looked back on and we were like, his longest relationship before me was like a day or two. Yeah, I didn't really have relationships. And yeah, they were middle school because we started dating when he was in middle school. Um, and me, my longest relationship was like the one right previous and it was three months. And like, honestly, it was just the best friendship. Like. So we did not really know how to date. <laughs> we did not know how to, like, I don't want to say treat each other right, but like we just, we we didn't know. And dating at that young of an age kind of just sets you up. I don't want to say for disappointment, but it makes things more challenging because like you're still really young and immature and don't know who you are. And so trying to figure out who you are while being with someone. It's hard. Yeah, it makes things a lot more challenging. Yeah, so we like talked for a month, and then he asked me out during our favorite TV show, 
Just a commercial break. It was terrible. It was. I but I kind of hey, like flirtatiously. Want to be my boyfriend? Yeah, I flirtatiously was like, "What? Like, I didn't hear you. Can you say that again?" And then he was like, "Will you be my girlfriend?" And I was like, "I think I said I guess. Either that or like sure. I said I, something because it was weird. It was the first time a boy had asked me out in person. My other boyfriends had asked me out over text, so like I was like nervous. And then we held hands under a pillow because I was. I was too well, scared to like let my mom see that I was holding hands with a boy. Yeah, so we we basically like grown up together, but definitely them them church boys, they really do be hitting different. But uh, I found a pretty cute boy. He kind of liked me. Oh no, you're very cute. I would to mention I love you. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is like the lowdown on our story. Um, if you guys want to know more random things about our relationship or like i don't know the ups and downs and all arounds just comment down below um but yeah we hope you guys are all staying safe amidst all of this craziness and like what else do i gotta do and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video <laughs> that, don't no no not that bye guys